so 700 joules of work done to pull stubborn dog Cujo across the ground. Cujo's mass is 55 kilograms and he's initially at rest. What's his final velocity? So we got work in here. We've got velocity and mass in here. It says he is at rest ends at some velocity. Okay, so this is what I got for my setup so far. So I'm going to go take a look at my equations here. Okay, so this sounds like an in, a momentum or energy thing. So I'm looking through my things and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, work is energy. Okay, so it's got to have work in it. Um, but this is where things get a little dicey. Uh, work equals force times distance. Power is work divided by time. Work equals a change in kinetic energy. Energy A plus work equals energy. I got work in a lot of places. So I got to figure out which of those places is going to make the most sense to solve for work. So I need to think about what the problem is talking about. The problem is talking about work causing a velocity change. And so I say to myself, OK, self, I need work and velocity, uh, work, force, and distance, work, power, and time, work, kinetic energy, work, energy. OK, also not helpful. I don't know anything of these equations about velocity. So then I start saying to myself, OK, well, these are the only equations it can be. So one of them's got to have velocity in it somewhere. So I look at this and say, does force have anything with velocity? No, force is mass times gravity or mass times acceleration. That's not really velocity, so it's not that. How about power or time? No, those aren't really speeds. Um, what about kinetic energy? Yes, kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So it is going to be my W equals delta Ke equation. So now I've got to remember what this delta business is. Well, delta anything just means change in. So it's final kinetic minus initial kinetic. So the work is 700. So now I need to figure out what the final kinetic is and the initial kinetic is. So the final kinetic is 1 half times the mass times the final velocity squared, which is not known, so I just write Vf squared. Minus the kinetic energy initial, which is 1 half times the mass times the velocity at the beginning squared, which anything times 0 is 0, so this whole thing whole thing over here goes to zero. So my equation is 700 equals, it's not a mental math day, yeah, that's what I thought, 27.5 V squared. And then from here you just have to solve out the rest of the math Divide the 27 and a half over, square root to get the number by itself. Final velocity is 5.0 meters per second.